Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Penny. I'm a certified advanced esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm also a licensed hairstylist. So, if you are interested in all things beauty, then I would hope you would consider subscribing. Today's video is gonna be about eye cream, and specifically, do I need an eye cream? I have clients at work, but also I have people on here ask me all the time, do you really need an eye cream? Do you need a separate eye cream? And that's a great question, and I don't think it's always a yes. So with that, I have four simple questions that you can answer, yes or no, that can kind of help you determine whether or not you need an eye cream. So pause this video, grab yourself a pen and a paper, or get your phone out, and let's answer four quick questions and determine whether or not we need an eye cream. Question number one, is the skin on your face dry? And if the answer to that is yes, do you wear an emollient or heavy face cream? Yes or no? Question number two, is the skin around your eyes showing dehydration slash dryness, fine lines slash crepiness? Yes or no? Question number three, is the skin on your face normal or normal to oily, but the skin around your eyes dehydrated, dry, or crepey? Yes or no? And question number four, do you have special concerns around your eyes like puffiness or discoloration? Yes or no? Okay, so if you answered yes to any of those questions, then you might possibly need an eye cream. If you answered no to all four of those questions, then I would say no, you would probably don't need an eye cream. You can use your general skincare that you use on your face, you can use that around your eyes as well, as long as it doesn't cause you sensitivity or it isn't too active and you get it too close to your eyes. So that's kind of a, you have to gauge that out. But if you answered no to all of those questions, then no, I would say skip an eye cream, don't waste your money. If you answered yes to those questions or any of those questions, then yeah, you could need an eye cream. So let's go through it. First of all, with the first question, if you are dry on your face and you use a heavier cream, that cream is not good around your eyes. And the reason why is the delicate skin around our eyes is thinner and the weight of that cream, first of all, it's not good for our aging, thin skin around our eyes. But it's also not good because it can cause something called milia. And milia are these really pain in the rear end, kernel type things that form under the skin that you absolutely cannot get out, that you have to have lanced and removed by an esthetician or by a dermatologist. And the best way to avoid them is not put super heavy over emollient things around your eyes. So if the skin on your face is dry, the likelihood is the skin around your eyes is dry and you need a separate lighter weight but hydrating eye cream. So number two, if the skin around your eyes is showing dehydration and dryness and crepiness or any one of those, then you very well may just need a little bit of extra hydration around your eyes. So you may need to give it a little bit of extra love than what you're doing to the skin on your face. So you may actually need a nice hydrating eye cream. Number three, if you are normal on your face or normal to oily, but you are showing the signs of crepiness, dryness, dehydration around your eyes, you definitely are gonna want an eye cream. Anything that you're putting on your skin, if you are normal or normal to oily, is and, and you're showing signs of aging or crepiness or dryness around your eyes, nothing that you're probably putting on your face is just doing enough for the skin around your eyes. So you probably need a separate eye cream. And finally, if you have special concerns like puffiness or discoloration, then a separate eye cream can definitely help with that as well. So all of that said, I wanna tell you that I really don't think that you need to spend a lot of money on eye cream. I definitely have more expensive eye creams that I like, but I don't think that they're a must. I think that there are eye creams on the market that are fantastic that are $20 or less. And I have two of them that I wanna share with you today that I really, really like, and I think that can benefit you if you have any of those four questions answered yes. The first one, and we're gonna start off with the one that is the least expensive. This one is by Cetaphil, and it is a, it's called Hydrating 
Eye Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Now, this one actually has niacinamide in it, which is vitamin B3, helps with your barrier function. It also helps block tyrosinase. It has glycerin, which is a humectant. It has licorice root, which is also a tyrosinase inhibitor which will help with pigment. It has grape seed oil, camellia seed oil. Those are hydrators. This eye cream, you guys, is somewhere between eight and $9. It is really, really good. Now, the way that you make this work really well is you apply it to slightly damp skin. Hyaluronic acid draws in water, and if it doesn't have enough to draw from your skin, it can actually make your skin drier. So I have a feeling that if people ever use something like this around their eyes and they actually think that their eyes got drier, it's because this didn't have enough moisture to draw from the environment, and obviously the skin around the eyes wasn't hydrated to begin with. There's nothing for it to draw. It pulls it from the skin. The answer to that is to lightly mist your face with something like, I love this, Bioderma. This is the Hydrobio, and it's a soothing, refreshing water. It is not expensive, it's huge. You get 10 ounces in this, it's fantastic. When you're doing your skincare routine, you can simply lightly mist your face and put a little bit of a hyaluronic acid eye cream around your eyes, and you will get a lot of extra hydration, and it can really help with that area. And I'll show you. It's a really nice gel cream consistency, soaks right, right in. It's very nice. It doesn't leave a bunch of residue. And if you apply it over some kind of a hydration water, and honestly, if you guys don't wanna buy a mist, you can use a tiny bit of tap water, tap it around your eyes so it's just barely damp, and then you can put a hyaluronic acid eye cream over it and you will get the benefits. I do love these mists. I also really love the La Roche-Posay. This is called Eau Thermal. It's a, a sensitive skin water. You know that I love the Aven. I love the Caudalie grape water. I love my Sculpla mist. But in this case, I really think an actual water is the best. So one of the spray waters or go ahead and use some water right out of your sink and very lightly damp and then use a sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid and you'll get some really nice hydration around your eyes. And again, eight to nine bucks. It's, it's very affordable. Now, the other one that I would say if you're a little bit more dehydrated and uh, you need a little bit more help with the fine lines and the crepiness and that kind of stuff. And this is a holy grail for me, for sure. It is by Sukiyaka Suhada, and it's the same brand as my moisture lotion, my urea moisture lotion that you guys hear me talk about all the time. I love this moisture lotion. It uses urea to hydrate. Urea is an incredible hydrator and it is able to hydrate not only the surface of your skin, but it's able to get in a little bit deeper and provide a little longer lasting hydration. This eye cream is somewhere around $20, $22, but it uses urea. It also has glycerin. This has ceramides. It has sodium hyaluronate. It has licorice, again, to help with brightness, and it uses aloe vera. This one is really, really fantastic. This one's around 20, 22 bucks, but look at the difference in size. You get so much for your money with this Sukiyaka Suhada. Here's the deal. Both of these are probably gonna last you absolutely forever. You use literally a pearl size amount total for both eyes. So both of these are very, very affordable and they will last you an incredible amount of time. Now, with this one, it's using urea, but it does have a little bit of that hyaluronic acid, so I do still like to put it over my essence. If you don't have this, again, a slightly damp under eye is fantastic for putting any anything with hyaluronic acid in it. It's Especially when you're applying it to an area that is already dehydrated, a little bit of water there to give the hyaluronic acid ingredient something to draw from is just, it's a great tip. And you don't have to, you don't have to buy sprays. I just like them. I think it's a nice experience in the morning when you're getting ready, but you can just use regular old water if you don't want to. So those are my two affordable suggestions. Now, if you answered yes to number four, 
that's a whole nother video and I will do that because there are definitely eye creams, eye gels on the market that are fantastic for helping with puffiness. You guys know if you watched uh, several months ago, I did a collaboration with Blonde Tea Party and Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats all about puffiness and I love the Benefit Puff Off. It's one of my favorite eye creams that I think it's around $29 and it really helps with under eye puffiness. There are others like that that I like very much, but just for the dehydration, the dryness, the everyday concerns, the brightness, these two are super affordable and they're very, very good. This one takes my under eyes from looking kind of older and literally gives them a little bit of plumpness. I feel like when I smile, I don't see as much of that crepiness in there, which is one of my aging kind of concerns that I'm noticing. I'm noticing not so much crazy crow's feet. I'm noticing that when I smile, my eye, it's bunching up here, and that's got a lot to do with dehydration. And this one definitely does a lot for that. The urea is absolutely an incredible ingredient, and I love it very much. So. I hope that this was helpful, you guys. I, I guess the bottom line is you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on eye cream. It To me, the majority of the reason why people need eye cream is the situation on their face. What is your facial skin type? And once you know that, that's how you determine whether or not you use an eye cream. And you do not always need an eye cream. You absolutely don't always need an eye cream. So the answer is definitely in those questions. And then you treat accordingly. These are great options that won't break the bank. So let me know down below, do you use an eye cream? Are you one of those people that doesn't? Do you believe in eye cream? What are your thoughts on that? I hope that you guys are having a great day so far and I will talk to you again very, very soon.